This is the model I built and incorporated those concepts. I didn't mention about my large forward hatch. They're nice. I like nice big hatches. I'm making these hatches two feet uh, because it's a small hatch you just get really cramped trying to work in. The idea of this is to be able to work the anchor gear, raise and lower the anchor without ever going on deck. You can do it from inside the forward cabin. So I have a nice big hatch here, my raised pilot house, sliding doors that open up. Uh, three windows forward, I'm going to have this window be able to open, probably open out, so it'll come back and seal against its frame. And uh, the, this is the forward deck house here, rounded deck house. It's quite fun to make. With three ports in it, and my NAF cabin. We're going to be in the dinette, head in the galley, and a nice big two foot wide hatch here so that the boat is open all the way through. You can go all the way straight through the boat. And uh, a closed back deck with nice big drains, flat bottom with my two by six runners on the bottom. And uh, I just thought it made a really, really nice looking boat. What it actually is, it's a blending of two of my favorite boats that I really liked when I was a kid. Uh, the hull is basically a dory hull. It's a, a West Coast, pattern after West Coast fishing dory. It's also caused, called Pacific Power Dory. And the cabin is based on a tugboat. I just loved tugboats when I was a kid. And it served my purpose with the forward cabin, raised pilot house, the aft cabin, the open back deck. So this is the model that I built that uh, I drew the plans that I'm building the big boat to. I made a few changes uh, in the big boat and then I'll get into those a little later. And not very many radical changes. I tried redrawing different heights of the cabin. I ended up with the uh, with this call, this is the high cabin, I'd redrew it with a lower cabin, but it didn't really look right, and I ended up with kind of a cabin, a high cabin, not quite as high as this one. But uh, just different aspects of redesigning the boat that I went through. But uh, this is mainly the model that uh, building a big boat from. This one is a scale of one inch per foot, it's 24 inches long to reflect a 24 foot boat. You know, with an eight foot beam using one sheet of plywood crossways as uh, the widest bulkhead in the boat. Uh, the actual boat in grew to 25 feet because I like the little bit of extra rake on the bow when I got the big boat lined out. It just looked like, you know, a little extra rake on the bow would be nice. I had a little extra length on my upper stringers, actually on both stringers. Also because I spread this deck to get this flare in the bow and I could get my spreader further forward with that little extra length and I like that and I like the way the bow looks so the big boat is slightly different this but not much and what I'll probably do is uh, redraw a set of plans that reflect the boat as it's actually being built but I drew this set from this model and this is what I've been using to build the boat from.